Modeling is a venture filled with so many ups and downs that participants are usually willing to undergo to see them through to the top. Welcome to the 2015-2016 Mr. and Miss Kemu. In this episode, we follow Kate Ndichu, one of the contestants for Mr. and Miss Kenya Methodist University, to find out why she is so much interested in the crown and whether she gets it or not. I am contesting for Miss Kemu because I always have this curiosity about uh, the, pageant, the beauty pageant. The sought after crown is very important and has an impact to whoever lays their hands on it. You are the face of Kemu, so you have to be very responsible and you have to let go of all other fun and you have to grow up. So with this, other responsibilities are you actually have to be entitled and be a leader for the students and you have to help them whenever they need help and you have to be very, very responsible. The prizes that are going to be won, for a winner, she's going to get money. First runner and second runners up, they will also get money. Also, the winner will get some school fees paid for one second. I think the Miss Kemu crown is going to benefit me because my career is going to grow in, in a way that being a representative of a school, someone can trust me to be a representative of a TV station or a company. In such a competition, the judges tend to look for more than just the physical appearances, hence making this a challenging task for them. The judge, some of the, the challenges that you face is favoring, bribes, but for you to make it the best, you have to look for courage, intelligence, make up the costumes. Miss Kemu, 2015-2016, Nairobi campus. Goes to one and only contestant number 10. Competition was actually fair. It was really fair. Although I didn't win, but it was really fair. Visit www.africanslamjournal.com. I have been your host, Usla Akinyi.